how to extract precipitation data from netcdf files using matlab so first of all i would like to show you uh, precipitation data you can see uh, it is that uh, my trmm data so this data is actually in nc4 files and uh, on a daily basis and let me show you for 2000 the first file is uh, containing uh, 1st march 2000 starting from 1st march 2000 and uh, proceeding toward the end of the year uh, you can if you go down you can see almost uh, 30 first of december so basically trmm data is starting from uh, uh, first march 2000 and moving toward uh, the end date so it is on a daily basis and also you can download it on annual basis so let's suppose we are going to check for 2016 it is starting from 1st of January 2016 and uh, moving toward the end it is 31st of December 2016 for entire year on one file is containing data of one day global data so uh, you can also see uh, MATLAB codes a file containing MATLAB codes is placed in the same folder and you can also see our station files which contain the station, uh, location of your uh, study area I mean to say if you are using several stations so you have to put latitude and longitude uh, and the name of your station area uh, in a, a CSV file format so I have opened it I opened my CSV file so you can see in the ID number from 1 to 23 I am actually using uh, 23 stations of the uh, in my within my study area so every station have a name and also its latitude and longitude so similarly you can arrange uh, your area uh, your stations in the same pattern so you just need to put your station file and the MATLAB file in the same folder where you are typically located so i have already placed you can see my matlab files and my station files so i will let you toward my uh, matlab i am just closing it so here is the main tab of my matlab so first of all after opening matlab you will need to connect the folder in which you are information is uh, located so as i already showed you in my hard disk and if you go downward you can see trmm data okay so i will open it and for every year from 16 and i so after selecting you can see all the daily files of uh, and c4 you can see first january 2016 and uh, going toward uh, 31st of december 2016 all files are available in this folder so you can also see a matlab trmm.m file and also station files so just double click on uh, read trmm oh. after double clicking trmm uh, this file will open here so you just need to uh, run this file if uh, you are using these uh, same name of your session files and the same format of your netcdf files in, such as nc4 you do not need to change anything uh, just uh, you can just uh, click control a select all and you can proceed to run so when will you when you click on run button it will start reading your nc4 files 
from the start let's suppose from one and going toward 366 because every day have one individual file unique file for every day so it will proceed to 366 or maybe 365 depending upon the year uh, 366 days of a year so it will uh, move toward 366 first it will read those files and will extract the location of your station specific uh, location and it will then write it into uh, text files so later on you can uh, join or merge those uh, text file in some single excel file or something like that depending upon the uh, requirements let's see it will go to 356 okay 366 it is completing the reading now it will start writing uh, let's see how will it work So you can see it is start writing from one to the end. So all of my 23 stations have been completed. Writing station 23 is done. So it means my average station has been, uh, the work has been done. So let's see how is it. Uh, how it's uh, a problem done so we'll go to drmm again where is that drmm this one Let's double click on it and uh, you can see you do you remember it was 2016 so just double click on it so in the bottom it is uh, the stations all the station you can see here uh, from uh, drm station one dot txt starting from station one and it is till station 23 so let's see we will open our first station so there is no perspiration in the first few days <laughs> and there is some uh, little perspiration at 0.13 mm the data is in millimeters so you can see the uh, my data is uh, already extracted so um, for other station it is on a uh, daily basis and uh, it is starting from 19.9 is the precipitation for first january 2016 because your you, your first file was first january 2016 and it is containing and last one is 31st of december 2016 so i hope this video will help you a lot and will ease your problem if you like this uh, my work you can uh, uh, apply it in your research and if you have any further queries you can also message me thanks a lot